All right, uh, tomorrow in class, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing what's called guess and check. Uh, you've done this before. You did this last year. Uh, last year they called it the 5D process. Uh, what the 5D process really did was get you to organize your work. Um, but if you remember from last year, the 5D process, and you're going to learn it again this year, uh, the whole guess and check thing is not a very efficient way of doing math. But before we can really move on to the more efficient ways, it's good to kind of have that base understanding of exactly how did you get to those uh, calculations that you got to. So what is guess and check? Let's take an example here. Guess and check. We've got the first problem. It's called bullseye. Jamie was throwing darts at a target. When his dart landed on the center target, the bullseye he earned right there, seven points. However, when his dart landed outside the ring or he missed the target, he only got, there it is, two points. After 50 throws, his friend reported that he had a score of 160 points. Jamie wanted to know how many bullseye he had hit, but his friend did not know. How many bullseyes did he hit? Well, let's figure this out. Let's guess and check this thing. So, first thing I do, and this might look familiar, it looks like that 5D process all over again, but actually it's a very nice way to organize your work. So I put together just something that I can put together for that. I know that my goal is I need to get to 160 points. I also know that the point wise, if I get a bullseye, I get seven points, and if I miss the target, I still get two additional points. So and then right here in the middle, I'm going to do what's called show my work. You're going to understand when it comes to Mr. Anderson, he likes you to show your work. Uh, in fact, uh, on tests coming up, if you do not show your work on tests, you will fail. It's as simple as that. Um, this year is not about getting the correct answer. This year is about being able to represent the process that you took to get to that answer. You're going to get there different ways than other people, and that's okay. But I do need to un understand how you got there. The other thing is you can do a problem wrong, but you can do a lot of things right along the way. I want to give you credit for what you did right. I'm just going to take away points for only what you did wrong. If you don't show your work, then I just assume you don't have a clue and you get no credit. All right, so guess and check. My first guess right here. I guess that I had 25 bullseyes and 25 misses. It's a nice little number. It's right in the middle. When I show my work, I take 25 times 7, I get 175. I take 25 times 2, I get 50. I add those together, I get 225. Bummer, I'm not at 160. I was too high. So I better lower the bullseye number here. So if I didn't get 25 bullseyes, maybe I only got 15 bullseyes and 35 misses. That seems reasonable. But 15 times 7 is 105. 35 times 2 is 70. When I add those together, I get 175. And doggone it, if I'm not too high, so one more time. I'm at one, I wanted to get to 160. I'm at 175. I'm too high. Let's try another guess, even lower. Maybe I only got 10 bullseyes and 40 misses. Well, 10 bullseyes times 7 is 70. And 40 misses times 2 is 80. 70 plus 80 is 150. Well, I'm still not at 150. I'm a little bit too low. The good news is I'm somewhere between 10 and 15. Uh, let's see, a reasonable guess on this one might be to go with, come on, click up there. No, I don't want that one. I want that one. There we go. 12 bullseyes. If I've got 12 bullseyes and 38 misses, well, 12 times 7 is 84. 38 times 2 is 76. When I add those together, I get 160. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at that. Mr. Anderson, you're kind of a doorknob. That's not 150, that's 160. But I did get to the right answer. 160 matches my 160. I might be a doorknob right there. But I got to the correct answer. This is the way I show my work. Is it the way you have to show your work? The answer to that is no. But you do have to show your work. I don't care how you organize it, as long as it's neat and orderly so I can understand it. That is what you're going to be doing tomorrow and possibly the next day. So we're going to be taking one to two days and doing this. I don't know how much that'll be, but we'll go from there. That is how you do your guess and check. If you did not fully understand this or you want to create your own problem, I suggest you do that. You don't have to, but if you're not fully comprehending the guess and check, maybe look at this one more time and try one on your own. But we're going to be having lots of examples coming up 
in the next day here or so. We'll see you tomorrow.